For analyzing any type of portal frame, only two steps are involved. The first step is the calculation of support reactions. For this, we need to apply the conditions of equilibrium to the free body diagram of the given portal frame. So, we first need to draw the free body diagram of the given portal frame. This is the free body diagram of the given portal frame. As there is a hinge support present at A, we have taken two reactions, one in the vertical direction and one in the horizontal direction. On the other hand, as a roller support is present at D, only one reaction would come in the vertical direction. Now, we can see that three unknowns are present. So, we have to apply all the three conditions of equilibrium. So, let us start. Let us take moment at any one of the external nodes, either A or D is equal to zero. Say, taking moment at A is equal to zero. taking all the clockwise movements as positive. After solving this equation, Rd can be calculated. Rd turns out to be minus 5 kN. This means that our assumed direction was wrong. Therefore, Rd is equal to plus 5 kN in the downward direction. So, we can replace Rd in the free body diagram as Now, for finding the support reaction Ra, we need to apply the second condition of equilibrium which is Summation Fy is equal to 0. Upward force is positive. Therefore, minus 10 plus Ra minus 5 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get Ra as plus 15 kN. So, our assumed direction was right. So, we can replace Ra as plus 15 kN. Now, Two of our reactions are calculated, only one is remaining. For this, we need to apply the third condition of equilibrium, which is summation fx is equal to 0. Rightward force is positive. Therefore, HA plus 10 minus 20 is equal to 0. Therefore, HA is equal to plus 10 kN. So, our assumption was right. We can replace HA by plus 10 kN. Now, our first step is completed. That is, we have calculated all the support reactions. Moving on to step 2, which is calculation of member and reactions. Knowing that the entire portal frame is in equilibrium, each member of the portal frame will be in equilibrium separately. So, member and reactions can be calculated by applying the conditions of equilibrium to the free body diagram of each member separately. For this, we just need to remember one basic rule, which is, whenever we encounter an internal node, we have to give three reactions over there. For example, if we take member AB, we need to give three reactions at joint B, one in the horizontal direction, one in the vertical direction, and one moment. In our case, only two internal nodes B and C are present. So, let's get started. Consider member AB. We know that at point B, three reactions would come. Let us assume any arbitrary direction. Okay. Now, we know that at end A, a 15 kN force acts in the upward direction. So, in order to balance this force, 15 kN should act in the downward direction at B. So, our assumption was wrong. This force turns out to be 15 kN in the downward direction. 
Again, we need to calculate the horizontal force. For this, we can use our condition of equilibrium, which is summation fx is equal to 0. Rightward force is positive. Therefore, plus 10 plus 10 minus hb is equal to 0. hb turns out to be 20 kN. So this force is 20 kN. Now, coming on to moment calculation. For this, we can take moment at any one of the point, either A or B is equal to 0. Taking moment at A is equal to 0. Clockwise, positive. Therefore, plus 10 into 3 minus 20 into 6 plus MB is equal to 0. Therefore, MB turns out to be plus 90 kilonewton means our assumption was right mb is 90 kilonewton meter in the clockwise direction now moving on to member bc at points b and c three three reactions would come now as we can see that 15 kilonewton acts in the downward direction in at point b when we consider member ab an equal and opposite force will act at B when we consider member BC. So 15 kN will act in the upward direction. Similarly, 20 kN will act rightwards and moment will be acting in the anti clockwise direction. Taking three reactions at C in any arbitrary direction. We know that 20 kN is acting in the rightward direction. So 20 kN will act in the leftward direction at C, which is what obvious. There is a 10 kN force over here, 0.5 meter and 0.5 meter. To find this force, we need to use our condition of equilibrium, which is summation F5 is equal to 0, upwards positive, 15 minus 10 plus RC is equal to 0. Therefore, RC turns out to be minus 5 kN, which is 5 kN in the downward direction. So our assumption was wrong. RC is 5 kN in the downward direction. Now we just need to calculate the moment. For this, taking moment at C is equal to 0. Minus 90 plus 10 into 1.5 taking moment at C is equal to 0 minus 90 plus 15 into 3 minus 10 into 1.5 plus MC is equal to 0. Solving this equation, mc turns out to be plus 60 kilonewton meter. So we can write plus 60 kilonewton meter. Over. Now we just need to analyze our number c, which is quite easy. We can see that there is a 5 kilonewton force acting in the downward direction at point D. So, a 5 Newton force must act in the upward direction. This gives us a check. We can see that the vertical reaction at point C when we consider member BC is 5 Newton in the downward direction. So, there must be a upward force 5 Newton in the upward direction when we consider CD. So, it, is, it has given a check, means our calculations are right. As a horizontal force of 20 Newton is present over here, in the leftward direction, there will be a horizontal force in the rockward direction over here. This also gives us a check. There was a horizontal force in the leftward direction when we considered member BC. Now, there is a horizontal force in the rockward direction when we consider member C. Again, the moment is in the clockwise direction when we consider member BC. In this case, the moment will be in the anti-clockwise direction. Now, that's it. We have completed with our step 2. Now, 
we have to construct the AFD, SFD and BMD for the given portrait frame. For this, we need to fix a sign convention which we must follow for all the three diagrams. The sign convention which I take is upwards positive and downwards negative. Now, for AFD, there is a convention fixed. We take the tensile forces as positive and compressive forces as negative. AFD means axial force diagram. So, we just need to consider the axial forces over here. That is the forces which are along the axis. While considering number AB, 15 kN and 15 kN are the forces which are along the axis. So, the nature of both these forces is compressive, which is negative. So, for uh, member AB, the diagram would be in the negative side and the negative side is in the downward direction. This downward direction means we have to see it from the frame of AB. From the frame of AB, this direction is positive upwards and this direction is negative. So, the diagram would be like this 15 this is 15 kilo newton now moving on towards member bc there is a 20 newton force which is again compressive means in the negative direction negative direction means downwards so the afd or bc would be like this negative this is 20 kilo newton. Moving on, the AFD for member C, there is an axial force of 5 kilo newton which is tensile in nature. So, this force is positive. So, we have to draw it on the positive side. According to the frame of member CD, positive side is this and this is the negative side. So, AFD for member CD would be like this 5 kilo newton now moving on towards the sfd the sign dimensions are the same upwards positive and downwards negative for member ab in initially 10 kilo newton force acts in the downward direction which corresponds to negative so minus 10 then again 10 kilo newton acts in the downward direction so it will be like this again 20 kilo newton acts in the upward direction like this so this is 10 this is 20 this is 0 and this entire is on the negative side consider member bc 15 kilo newton acts in the upward direction so 15 in the upward direction then now moving on towards SFD the sign convention would be same now for member AB the force 10 kN is in the downward direction which means negative so 10 kN in the downward direction again there is a straight line as there is no point load again there is a point load of 10 kN in the downward direction so the SFD would be like this 10 in the downward direction then again as there is no point load the SFD would be straight and then again 20 kN in the opposite direction which means the SFD would be like this this is 10 20 this is 0 this is in the negative side now for member BC the force 15 kN is in the upward direction which means positive so 15 positive then again there is no point load between 15 kN and 10 kN loads so there will be a straight line then again there is a point load of 10 kN means 10 kN means the SFD would be like this which 15 minus 10 which is 5 so this is 5 kN then again it is constant and 5 kN non loads so this is 15 kN and this is 5 kN and this is on the positive side. Again, for member C, there is a point load of 20 kN in the upper direction, which means positive. So, 
rating in a return positive then again there is no point load it is constant then again there is a point load of 20 kilometer which means like this now again for member cd there is a point load of 20 kilometer in the upward direction upward direction means positive then again as there is no point load it is straight line then again there is a point load of 20 kilometer in the downward direction Positive. Now moving on to the bending moment diagram. There is there is a different sign convention used for the bending moment diagram, which is my own creation. Suppose that we have to draw the bending moment diagram for member AB. Now this moment is in the clockwise direction. Due to this moment, member AB would make a shape like this. Understood? A shape like this, which is a sad face. Had this moment been in the anti-clockwise direction, then member AB, AB would have produced a face like this, which is a smiling face. So, a sad face corresponds to a negative bending moment, while a smiling face corresponds to a positive bending moment. As it makes a sad face, the bending moment would be negative, means 90 kilometer meter in the negative direction. As the SMD is a straight line, the BMD would be an inclined line, like this, in the negative direction. Now, consider member BC. For member ABC, the moments are like this and like this. So, these moments produce a sad face like this means uh, this moment is in the anti-clockwise direction so it would produce a moment like this like this so remember BC would bend like this this corresponds to a sad face and sad means negative so this 90 km meter is negative like this again this 60 km meter is also negative like this and we have to incline, join them with the help of an inclined line because SFD is a straight line. So this is 90 and this is 60. Now we have to draw the BMD for member CD. For member CD, 60 km meter moment is in the anti clockwise direction. Due to this, a smiling face is produced like this, and smiling means positive. So this 60 km meter moment is in the positive direction, and here the moment becomes zero. So there will be an inclined line as in the SFD there is a horizontal line. This is positive. So here we are done analyzing the given portal frame. If you have any doubts in the analysis, do let us know in the comment section. Stay tuned. In the next video, we will be studying how to analyze a portal frame having an internal hinge.